Investigators claim that men who demonstrate signs of inflammation in their initial prostate biopsies may have a lowered risk of receiving a prostate cancer diagnosis from future biopsies. This is according to a new study published in the journal Cancer. For the study, the researchers examined data on over 6,200 men between the ages of 50 and 75. All of the men had previously undergone prostate biopsies that were found to be negative, with no signs of prostate cancer. Extra biopsies were conducted two and four years later. From the analysis, the researchers discovered that the acute inflammation was common from biopsies at the start of the study in younger men, who had lower PSA levels and smaller prostates. Men in the older age range with larger prostates were more likely to experience chronic inflammation. From the biopsies that were taken at the two-year mark, prostate cancer was discovered in 900 men. The researchers discovered that men who had acute inflammation at baseline had a 25% reduced risk of developing prostate cancer, while men with chronic inflammation had a 35% lower risk. The biopsies taken four years later revealed that only acute inflammation was connected to a reduced prostate cancer risk. The researchers theorized that inflammation may be connected to a reduced prostate cancer risk because inflammation is the body's normal reaction to a perceived invasion by normal agents in the form of malignant cells. The body may eliminate the cells before they manifest as a tumor. They add that if this is the case, it is possible that monitoring and balancing inflammation in the body's immune response could aid the prevention and treatment of prostate cancer.